Okay, good morning. Um, today we're going to read Psalm 138. Matter of fact, we're going to camp in this psalm for the rest of the week, for the next three days. And it's a psalm of David. I encourage you just to read it through. And so, um, David says in verses 1 to 3, and this came back to me um, several times in the last couple of weeks. I was challenged just by this one verse. And he says it several times during the Psalms. David says, I give you thanks, O Lord, with all of my heart. Some versions are in other Psalms. David says, I praise you with my whole heart. Not just my heart, my whole heart, everything I have. I will sing your praises before the gods. I will bow before your holy temples I worship. I will give thanks to your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness because your promises are backed up by the honor of your name. I will praise you. I'll give you thanks with my whole heart. It's the Hebrew word for praise, yada, which means to worship, to revere, to praise, to give thanks with extended hands, with outstretched arms and hands. So it's more than just saying something with your mouth. It's like shooting at your arm or hand like an arrow. And so you wonder why we lift our hands when we sing. It's not a church thing. It's a Bible thing. David's telling us to do it. Praise him with an open hand. Stretch your hands out before him. I will bow before you. I'll give thanks to your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness. David says, at the very time I praise you, I call out to you. I know you will answer me. And while I'm waiting for that answer, you encourage me by by waiting on you, by, by giving me the very strength I need. This is not a silent praise. This is a praise we sing out and throw out our hands. And so let me encourage you today with your whole heart, with your voice, with your outstretched hands, hands, not while you're driving, by the way, not while you're driving, but let his presence fill your heart, soul, and life. David says, I will give thanks to your name because your promises are backed up by the honor of your name. So as I'm praising you, I'm waiting for your promises to come true. I'm praising your name because your promises is backed up by that. But I I will not stay silent. I, I will put actions. The Hebrew words for praise is action that goes along uh, with our praise. And so it's not a silent praise. I'll lift my voice, my heart, and my hands to you. Oh, blessing today. Praise him, church. Listen to what David says, and we will give you thanks, Lord, with all of our heart. We will sing praises to you today in Jesus' name.